Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So I am Hadi Aira. I am a family intern. Now I am going to give a brief explanation on site management organization, which is SMO. So let's get into it. The first question is what is an SMO? SMO is site management organization as the name suggests it is an organization or a person or a company that provides clinical trial related services to CRO that is contract research organization and this clinical trial site will be now coming to the responsibilities of SMO. Few of the responsibilities of SMO are a contract, they will be having a contract and legal agreement with CRO and the submission of documents for IRB or IEC approval, the documents whichever are required for the conduct of clinical trial. So site initiation and trial closeout operation. So before the start of study and after the completion of the study. So site initiation and uh, trial closeout operations, whatever the requirements before and after the trial, they have to be maintained. Next, coming to benefits in using SMO. So benefits like advantages, we can say, of SMO. So the main advantages is reduction of time, sources, whichever are needed for the conduct of clinical trial and expand greater access to expertise. And coming to risks with SMOs risks like disadvantages we can say uh, reduced control in direct management of clinical trial conduct as SMOs will take over the responsibilities so there will be less control in direct so SMOs are generally new entity or the new category of people or a person or an organization which aims in providing economical conduct of clinical trials that will that is low Stand low economic standards. So, thank you.